Weather folklore, you know, those popular sayings that some believe are an indication of what the weather will be. But is there any truth in them? Kevin Williams, the man with all of the answers, yeah. is here now to tell us <laughs> in our weather myths, fact or fiction. Well, that's right, uh, Jen. Well, you know, sayings and rhymes to tell the weather and time. You've likely heard some of them before. They're catchy, they're cute. They sure are. But, you know, are they based in fact or are these old wives' tales? Here's more. We start with one that many of you may have heard. Red sky at night, sailors delight. Red sky in the morning, sailors take warning. And believe it or not, there is some truth in this. Red in the early morning sky results from ice crystal clouds that are often forerunners of rain systems, enhancing the sunlight, the redder, longer waves of sunlight as they pass through a thick chunk of the atmosphere. While the red sky at night often results from sunlight bouncing off dust particles that are associated with dry air and fair weather high pressure. Second, the saying, when dew or frost are on the grass, rain will never come to pass, also can be accurate. Both dew and frost form under clear, calm air, often associated with fair weather high pressure. And how about that old piece of weather lore that says you can tell the temperature from cricket chirps? It says that you can tell the temperature by counting the number of chirps for 13 seconds and then add 40 to that number for the temperature in Fahrenheit. And that's pretty close. As it turns out, crickets chirp by sawing their wings. The warmer the air, the more rapid the chirping rate tends to be. But it has to be a snowy tree cricket. So good luck at night trying to determine <laughs> which cricket is chirping. At any rate, they're all fun, they're catchy. And what's nice about these things, some of them actually work. They actually are based on some science. Uh, I wish they could help us with a seven-day forecast, but sometimes for an hour or two in advance, they can be pretty... Uh, Pretty useful. All right.